All right, we woke up this morning. Kurt is resting from his big hike yesterday, but we're getting some editing done, but we decided to take a break and we're gonna head downtown and find somewhere to grab some lunch. So we're still in this great little town of Harneen. It's been a really nice spot to just kind of stop and recuperate and rest before we have to head to the big city pretty soon to start prepping for my knee surgery. So let's go get some lunch. We were a little bit hungry, guys. Completely forgot to tell you about our yummy meals. Kurt it's had a good. yummy steak. I had an avocado and some rice and beans and a couple of chicharrones. Kurt's finishing mine up for me. And of course, our go-to, lemonada. But sorry you didn't get to see the pretty plates. <laughs> it's editing day. Kurt's hogging the office bed. Yeah. So I'm on the office couch. But that's okay. It's the kitties like me better because they're hanging out out here with me. But cranking out some videos for you guys. All right, we spent several days at this very relaxing, super nice, cozy hostel here in Hardeen, which is an amazing little town. But all good things come to an end. It is time to hit the road. We have programmed our next destination into the GPS. Kurt is at the wheel. We're headed to Medellin. We are definitely driving through the thick coffee fields. We're in part of the coffee triangle of Colombia and it is obvious on this very pretty road. We had to stop in this small town called Andes and get some fuel and it was a little bit hectic. We had to get some air in the tire too and once again in these small towns there is zero English but everybody's very nice as long as you try and we were trying hard. We are now full of fuel, got some air in our tire and we are headed to Medellin and today is obviously a moving day but not your typical moving day, guys. This is a big day. We are actually moving into our Airbnb in the city of Medellin, where we will be for two and a half to three months while I finally get this darn knee fixed. So when you hear people say you're not supposed to drive at night in Central and South America, most people just jump to the assumption it's because you know bad guys will get you at nighttime. Well, in reality, for the most part, the bad guys are the bad roads. <laughs> I mean, if you're driving at night and you come up on that washout and all the washouts we pass, you're not going to see it and you're done for. So that's one of the main reasons you don't drive at night down here. It's a three and a half to four hour drive for us to get from Harding to Medellin. And we go through a lot of cool little cities. Uh, one that we just went through, it, oh, oh, I thought it was an anteater crossing, but it wasn't. It's a possum crossing sign. But anyway, we went through that little town of Andes. We just went through a town called Hispana, and they're all cool, culturally filled little towns. So this is a pretty awesome drive. And as we keep going through Colombia, we keep saying that this is the prettiest drive so far. Well, and this one's a pretty drive. And we keep saying the roads just get curvier and curvier, and that's true again today, isn't it, Kurt? Yeah, and we also talk about all the washouts, and here we are in a one-lane scenario, and there's just washouts all along these roads. Yeah, yeah, it's it, lots and lots of washouts, potholes, the road caving in. It's rainy season here in Colombia, so they do struggle with heavy downpours, and this area's been hit pretty hard. So we're maybe halfway. Stopped at this little tienda in this cute little town. Looks like Kurt got him a Diet Coke and some potato chips. Find a snack? I did. Not right. a healthy one. Chips and sodas.
So this is a lone lane closure. I made it up here. I don't know the reason why, but you can everybody see everybody stopped up here. That the lane closure was about a mile long. And so I'm actually gonna head on back and get to the van. Vehicles are starting to come through now. So hopefully it'll only be about a half hour delay. Yeah, so the right side of the road, let me get my window down. If you can see right gone. here, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. So this slide down through here, wow. major slide. Yeah, I know we've talked about it before. The bottom over here on the right's not real solid. The top on the left's not real solid either. But glad to get through that mess. I do believe that's the reason for the delay. Oh, yeah. So now the, only, here, now the only thing we have to worry about is this river we're driving down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the water just pouring off the side of the mountain. It is insane. Just driving alongside the road. There's just waterfalls coming down the side of the mountain. I mean, it's like crazy. And then there's all these red uh, flowers. Orchid looking. Yeah, or, orchid looking plants along this wall. Look at this, guys. This is just a stunning drive. This may be the best one yet, Kurt. And we're driving along the river that I showed you guys. And it just cuts through these mountains and these jungles. Amazing. Traffic is slowing here. We're not sure exactly why but we just came around the corner and I was looking up to the left at the oh, mountains. We have to, we have to, we have to drive up a muddy road? Yeah. It's, this. I think they made the road over the mudslide. They made the road over the mudslide. Maybe, I don't know. We're gonna see what's happening, guys. But I just almost got my breath taken away. I was looking up to the left and then I looked off to the right, out to the river, and <laughs> it just, it just cuts straight down. It's just straight down. <laughs> And it's, it's pretty intense. Hold on to your hats, guys. I don't know why we did not expect this, but this <laughs> is van life in Columbia. <laughs> it's great. It's uh, a major highway. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it looks like they've already done some work historically here. You can see how they've even pushed Phil, or Phil's gone down into the river and it really narrows down there. Wow.
a really steep hill, guys. You gotta concentrate on keeping your RPMs. And then right across the gorge and the river below us is that huge jungle. And it's just amazing how some of the trees just skyrocket from the overall canopy, which is pretty thick. It just has like every shade of green known to man. Uh. But we almost made it up to the top of the hill, so that's good news. How you feeling, Snow? That was a steep hill, but uh, now we gotta go down. So we'll see, and it just kind of turns to one lane when it wants to, so we're getting a little congestion, but it's all good. It's all good. Unfortunately, we've had a motorcycle accident there in the other lane. Hopefully everyone's okay. Well, we've braved all the elements. <laughs> Snow at the helm. Yep. Second shift, bringing us home. We're almost to Medellin. We're rolling in town as we speak. You can probably see it down there in the valley. But uh, anxious to see the new apartment. How about you, Snow? Yeah, I mean, the pictures look good, but you never really know. So first things we gotta do is we gotta go drive by and make sure we can find it. But we don't meet the lady for a couple of more hours. So then maybe we can drive around and just scope out our new neighborhood a little bit. So gotta find somewhere to park the van too. All right, we have not showed you our Airbnb yet because actually the move in was incredibly hectic. We were wore out and tired. We're still not settled, but we are taking you on our first grocery shopping trip where we're going to try to walk to the grocery store. Let's see how it goes. All right, so that was only like a four or five minute walk. Wasn't too bad. We're about to go into our local mall. All right, first things first, we are looking for cat scratch pads so our kitties won't shred the furniture and I see them already. Woohoo! So we're starting to get a little bit more settled into the Airbnb. This is our street from our balcony. Kurt is headed down to the van, which for now is parked on the street. I think we'll be all right to leave it here for maybe a day or two while we get everything unloaded. But Kurt has headed down, there he is, hey Kurt, to get a couple of more things out of the van and bring them up. And we're still on the lookout for the secure parking lot we need to lock the van up. But we got a couple of days. Over there, down that block, the major street that takes us to the grocery store, which is only three blocks away, which is in a mall, which is that is nice. And then down this way, about two and a half blocks, you get into some cool little neighborhood atmosphere with some cafes, little stores little restaurants a couple of bars nice little area down there definitely a quiet residential street friendly and i'm thinking tomorrow g will probably get a walk down there and we'll see how that goes but okay guys i need a haircut so we're venturing out trying to find a place but we discovered that it is a holiday today in Colombia and we are learning that Colombia has a lot of holidays so so far the three places I've walked by are closed but I'm gonna go to the mall take a chance that maybe that one's open much shorter hair a little bit lighter this go around phase two of going gray is complete he blew it dry, but you guys may or may not know, in a van, you don't really have a hair dryer that you use often. It takes too much power. So, it'll be curly next time y'all see it. 
Oh, we're getting settled into the new apartment. Snow did a thing. Yeah, we've already had our first Amazon delivery. I had it scheduled perfectly to come like the day after we moved in. Kurt got new shorts, I got a few new dresses, but now I'm folding the clothes, getting us all settled into our closet. We actually have a closet here. And Vanna's helping. Vanna is kind of helping. And in case you haven't noticed, Snow did another thing. Oh, my hair. What's going on? We're gonna go try out a little local restaurant in our new neighborhood. <laughs> so this right here is the first little tienda. I haven't tried it out yet, but they got all kinds of stuff. And this is the empanada shop. So this right here is the tienda I went in yesterday. Yeah. They got pretty much everything too, but I want to hit the one closer to the apartment. See what it's like? Yeah, I'd like to give local business. One block closer to our Here's house. the shoe store. Get you a fresh pair of zapatos. Yeah. <laughs> so this right here is sort of the main strip. I think this is 70. It's kind of a little bit more of a party area, so there's a lot of nightclubs and bars and things like that. But there's also a lot of really good restaurants here. So we're gonna try to find one. Me and Snow are gonna grab some lunch. So we've walked down eh, three or four blocks from our apartment. We're having lunch. And the restaurant just brought out these cute little empanadas. empanadas. All right, here's my lunch. I got a grilled chicken breast, extra salad instead of Papa Fritas. I can't eat all those avocados, but Kurt, what'd you get? I got a fried lunch. I got chicharrones, uh, chorizo, huevos frito, a banana fried. This is an arepa, and it looks like some beans and an aguacate. All right, let's dig in. All right, guys, we are in full on surgery prep mode. And one of the big parts of the recovery will be Santiago, who is going to be the one that comes here to the apartment to help me with the physical therapy and the rehabilitation after surgery. Right now, we're doing all the history, getting all my stats, and he speaks a little English, just like I speak un poquito espanol. <laughs> but Google Translate is our friend, and it's going to work out perfect. There you go. All the right. surgery prep officially begins this morning. I have not eaten or drinking anything since 8 o'clock last night. The Uber is almost here. We are going down for my lab work. So we're headed down to the hospital area for lab work this morning and EKG this afternoon. So let's go. While we're waiting, Kurt walked down to the cafeteria to get some coffee. He's being nice, staying outside because I still can't eat or drink anything. It is almost time to get the blood drawn. My favorite part. So here we go, guys. All right, this morning we were here up in building 16 for lab tests. And we went back to the apartment and now we're coming back to come way over here this afternoon for an EKG. So let's head that way. So I've got to tell you that having Stephanie from the international office help navigate this system has been amazing so far. She meets me for each appointment. She signs me in. She helps me pay. She translates and she's super nice. I can't imagine doing this without them. So if you're gonna try surgery abroad, make sure there's an international office at whatever hospital you choose. Now, we're headed to building three, where we'll meet Stephanie in about 15 minutes. Got my EKG, got an Uber, I have made it back to the apartment, and gonna head back up in and do a little editing. So let's go do that. And one thing I forgot to tell you guys, when I was doing my hair the other day, it was phase two. It's a little blonde, a little yellow right now. 
tomorrow morning is phase three. So at nine o'clock in the morning, we finish another step on turning the hair gray. And then tomorrow afternoon, we go to the dentist. That is something that is required before surgery here in Colombia to check for any infections that you may have in your teeth because they don't want to take any chances of there being any infection in your body. So tomorrow morning, hair appointment, tomorrow afternoon, dentist. Then the next appointment is with the anesthesiologist who reviews all these tests I just did and decides whether I'm healthy enough for surgery and then we schedule surgery. So we're like halfway there. It's almost time. All right, we're on our way to the dentist. Final stopping uh, point of the week. For the week. So I just finished up with the dentist and there's a little bit of bad news. I have a cavity apparently and I can't do the surgery till we get that fixed. So now we have to go to another office to get like an x-ray and then come back here next in a few days and get that cavity fixed. And we have to make all that happen before the surgery. So let's go find this place. Say hi, Stephanie. Hi. She's awesome, guys. Oh, awesome. You. <laughs> See y'all in a little bit. All right, Snow. So what's the lowdown on the x-rays? All right. So we have to come to a different place to get the x-rays. It just seems to be how it works here. And I had to pay 15,000 Colombian pesos for full dental x-rays. That's $4. Which actually is less, I think, than our cab or Uber ride here. <laughs> yeah, four dollars for dental X-rays. There you go, guys. All right, so Snow is super <laughs> excited. She's gonna get to get a Christmas tree. Since we've been in the van, her Christmas tree has been very limited, and she's been missing that. So this is the opportunity for her to load up. <laughs> And I think we've come to the right place. Look at that. All these trees to choose from and plenty of decorations. It's like a kid in a candy store. So this is our neighborhood lit up. This is actually the main food street. There's a lot of bars and restaurants and things like that here. A lot of street vendors selling street meat or street food. A lot of loud music craziness it's still early i have not been and do not plan to be down here when this area gets cranked up you can see there's already quite a few people out here but from the rubbish i see in the morning i think this place down here gets pretty crazy now it's a friday night so i imagine tonight's gonna be a really busy night in this area good morning everyone it's early in the morning on Saturday and I'm headed to my yoga class. I found an awesome little studio, great teacher. Actually, there's a few teachers there, but I really like the owner. And uh, the only problem is the class is in total Spanish. So I've taken yoga before, so I'm familiar with some of the steps, but it's a lot more difficult in Spanish. But walking through the neighborhood, this little market wasn't set up. I haven't seen it set up, so this must be a weekend thing. So finding Medellin, very interesting, very colorful. Lots of different little culture and things going on. But anyway, this is another one. And this is my awesome yoga instructor, yay me. So pretty excited. I've already had a couple classes. I did one Ashtanga and I was like dead for two days, but I'm back. <laughs> And I'm excited for class today. Oh, thank you so much. Well, like, well, to <laughs> and this is my new friend too. What was your name? Carolina, right? Hi. So I just got back from yoga class. And I'm hungry. So I went and grabbed snow. And we're headed up to get some desayuna and some coffee. Yeah, we're going to go get something to eat. And it's been a busy week, guys. I know this video was like all over the place. Uh, we drove to Medellin, moved into our Airbnb, got the hair done, I've done 10,000 doctor's appointments. We've been all over the place since we've been to Colombia, to be honest yeah. with you. But we're settled in. We got a few interesting things coming up. And of course, the biggie is we find out the exact date of the surgery coming soon. So we're going to wind this video down. 
Cheers, guys. guys. See you guys in a few days. See you soon. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.